Well, now here, closer to home, has been a reports of phishing. Indeed, all over campus here at Harvard are posters like this encouraging people to report phishing. The process whereby adversaries send you an email that might look legitimate, but is really some form of spam, but that generally contains links or URLs to other websites that also look legitimate, but are in fact copies of other websites, not unlike banks, whereby you can then trick users into providing you with your, their usernames, their passwords, thereby ultimately taking over their accounts. In fact, according to this very clickbaity headline, everyone is falling for this frighteningly effective Gmail scam. Now, what is this and how is it plaguing campuses like ours? Well, if you're a Gmail user, you might recall receiving emails that look like this. And if sometimes, of course, your emails contain attachments. Now, Gmail draws your attention to these attachments by providing you with a very convenient uh, downward facing icon that, when clicked, allows you to download that PDF. But what if an adversary, someone trying to deceive you, has sent you not an attachment, but simply an otherwise blank email? That contains an image embedded in it that looks, per this rectangle, exactly like the rectangle that Gmail generates automatically for actual attachments. Moreover, what if this embedded image is really a hyperlink to some other web page that then asks me for credentials like my Gmail username and password? Now, normally this wouldn't be such a concern because if a link like this led to a web page on some foreign server where I'm being tricked into typing in my credentials, well, Harvard or my internet service provider or ISP could simply block ultimately that website so that very few customers actually fall for that trick. Unfortunately, it turns out that the web supports what are known as data URIs, whereby this particular attack was linking not to a remote website, but to URL that looks like this. And notice in particular, it starts with data colon followed by a whole bunch of text. Well, it turns out you can embed in the URL bar of a browser enough information, enough HTML, CSS, and even JavaScript to make the page that's displayed actually look like a Gmail login screen like this one here. And indeed, if you then type in unwittingly your username and perhaps even your password and hit enter, that username and password is sent to the bad guy's website, not to the actual gmail.com. Now, how does this work? And how do these URIs actually function? Well, here's an example of an actual data URI. And among the compelling uses of these things is to embed images and other assets inside of web pages without having to link to secondary files that then have to be loaded typically a bit more slowly. Notice that it too begins with data colon, specifying this is a data URI or URL. Then it specifies what the type of the file is that follows. In this case, it's an image of type BMP or bitmap. And then it specifies how it's encoded which in this case is not binary, not decimal, not even hexadecimal, but base64, which is a base system that uses letters, both capital and lowercase, as well as numbers, as well as a couple of other characters to represent as text what might otherwise just be zeros and ones or binary. Now, the characters that follow, while they look like purely alphabetical and syntactic characters, are actually the base64 encoding of an image, this image here. Now let's enhance, and you might indeed see a familiar face. That is literally the file that's embedded in that data URI. And so what the bad guys did in this Gmail attack is actually embed a functioning web page that was Base64 encoded instead of it being as simple as a simple, happy, smiley face. Now thankfully, browsers like Chrome can help us notice when websites are legitimate. Here I'm at accounts.google.com, and it starts with HTTPS, and Chrome is telling me in green that it's secure. As a result of this attack and others like it, has Google also added functionality to Chrome so that if a user accidentally or even knowingly visits a data URI that begins with data colon, now our users informed a little more clearly in gray that this website is not secure. 